Hey, welcome back to the channel. I trust you guys are doing very, very well. Um, so yeah, I haven't sat in this position in quite a long time. Um, if you guys follow my channel, you know very, very well that I pre-record my videos. I film quite a few videos in a day and then I just put them up as the weeks go along. So it's been quite a while since I've sat in this chair right here. I, it's, yeah, it's been quite a while. Um, so as you can see in the title down below, you guys know that every single month I do a beauty review. So basically products that I've used continuously throughout the month, they may not have featured in a video as yet, but I don't like to wait a long time before using a product just so that I can feature it in a video or whatever, all that jazz. I would rather just use it behind the scenes and then tell you what I think about it. You guys know how these uh, videos work. It's just basically a review of some of the products that I've been using so that you guys know whether you want to try it out or not because somebody else has tried it out. And so on so if you'd like to see what's in this video today then yes let's let's get started all right so the first makeup product that I want to talk about is this this is like a cult favorite it's a staple it's a listen I want you in my makeup bag because you are life kind of product okay this is the Maybelline fit me concealer now I use the shade number 40 I think I've got like four or five backups of these this is how much I love this concealer but it's a creamy concealer as you can see that's what it looks like there it's a creamy concealer it's a great concealer at a very affordable price I haven't come across I've used quite a few creamy concealers one which I'm going to mention now but this one I really 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 like and I think the one one of the reasons why I like this one is because it's light it's easy to work with the blendability is absolutely awesome however the only one side that i do want to mention it's not really a downer because for me as much as i am darker around my eye area i'm it, i'm not that dark to such a point that i would really need a high high coverage concealer this is a medium coverage concealer as soon as you start blending it out you can see that it 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 fades quite easily so sometimes if you want something a little bit more full coverage if you're going to an event or if you're going to a particular function or occasion and you really want full coverage and you want to highlight that area below your eyes for highlighting really really good for full coverage not too great but i think as an everyday concealer it's perfect i love it i'm quite quite impressed I love it I've got so many backups of these that I, I just I can't I can't <laughs> now this is the other concealer that I wanted to mention now the other one is a pharmacy drugstore concealer but this is a high-end foundation this is a high-end concealer this is the Bobbi Brown instant full cover concealer and my shade I took golden which is a shade lighter to my foundation shade now hmm I hmm I am not too crazy about this concealer. The only reason is, in terms of full coverage, it is a phenomenal concealer. It's so, so good. It's also got a doe foot applicator, which you see, can you see that? As I try to apply it, this concealer is so thick. I don't know. I don't know. For me, the reason, I, I, I want to say something <laughs> constructive. <laughs> When you apply it onto your eye, you can already tell how thick it is. And also when it applies, it actually applies on quite patchy. So even when I have to apply it on, I have to go in again and actually try and apply it on because it leaves little patches, which for me is a little bit of a problem for a concealer that's this pricey. Um, in terms of coverage, it has it knocks the Maybelline one out of the park. It is honestly a high coverage concealer. It'll cover everything. I just find like even when I try to blend it in, no matter how damp my blending sponge is, it just comes across patchy. I don't know. I, I really, I, I tried to love this concealer. I really did try to love this concealer. I still use it anyway, but the thing is, I don't reach for it as often as I thought I would. I'm not too crazy about it. Is it worth a purchase? I don't think I would repurchase it again. I honestly don't think I would go for it again. How the next, <laughs> the next product is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. Nah, nah. 
I did my how to apply foundation video with this foundation and after that I've been wearing it on and off ever since um, and it's honestly on and off if I really really loved this foundation I'd probably be on with it all the single like every single day all the time I am a foundation lover so when I stick when I get a foundation and I really love it I'll use it all the time I got my shade is 6.5 which is warm almond now I love it né? but in terms of coverage it is high coverage it is a full-on high coverage concealer it'll cover up everything um, with one layer for me generally it covers up everything if you want to see that it's in my uh, how to foundation video however if you want to go in again you really can it doesn't make your skin feel dry or cracky or um, it is a matte foundation so it's also nice um, especially for the winter time I like matte foundations in the winter time and then I, I like the more glowy foundations in the summertime because I feel like in the summertime you need to glow, you need to look bronze and glowy and everything. Um, whereas this one, I, I enjoyed using it, yes. The only downside, whew, you must be Superman with this. You must be Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez with this foundation. The reason why is because the moment, the moment I literally squeeze on onto the palm of my hand and then I take and I did that, 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 that. You guys know how I apply my foundation. But with this one, I'm busy on this side blending on one side. It's already drying out. So those little patches are already drying out on the other side, which I found like really, I mean, I can't. It stick it stays on your face I'm not going to lie however I can't be <laughs> trying so quickly to get it in before it dries down and uh, yeah each to their own take it use it use the information if you want don't use it if you don't want good job it's fine and then um, two products that I did say I would mention in a beauty review and I've probably put up pictures of them on my Instagram. If I have, I'll put them here. These are the Sorbet Contour Me Contouring Blush Duo and this is the Powerful Stuff Light Press Powder. Now, this light press powder sits in my everyday cosmetics bag, the one that sits in my handbag. And this is pretty much what it looks like. I like it. For me it's a little bit on the orange side but because I use it as a touch up like to powder up if I get oily throughout the day it doesn't really come across I, I come across as orange or anything like that. I wouldn't use it full on as a setting uh, powder like I do with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. However, I think it is great as a powder up touch up throughout the day. It's compact, it's great, it's got a mirror full on which is nice as well. Um, if I look at myself, yeah, you can pretty much, I can pretty much see everything that I need to see on the mirror. It covers up the whole uh, surface area of the lid, which is nice. It's fine. It's uh, not fantastic. Uh, it is a matte powder. It's very nice. Um, but yeah, I just use um, pressing motion. Sometimes I'll use a poof. Sometimes I'll use one of these um, um, sponges that you can get at Diskim. And I just press down so that I can get rid of the oils throughout the day. It's a nice powder. It's not, I, I, I don't know, I think for its price, I would typically go and get the LA Girl powder over this one. I mean, I think it's just a little bit more on the pricey side. However, it is a nice powder. For an everyday powder, definitely. If I wanted um, a powder that's gonna do wondrous things, I wouldn't use it. But as an everyday powder, definitely worth a shot. So that's also up to you, whether you like it or not. All right, <laughs> and the other one is this one. This is the Contour Me Contouring Blush and Blush Duo. Now, first things first, don't break it. So you sort of like, it closes like that and then you have to press this part in and lift. So that's essentially what it looks like. For me, when I saw the powder the first time around, I thought it's more on the gray side. I wasn't quite sure about it. I was like, mm, girl, that powder. The blush, I do not use. Honey, I don't use it. The contour, I was a little bit e -e about it until I started using it and then I realized that you know what the trick with this contour is let me not flash you guys I'm trying not to okay the trick with this contour powder is not to use too much so do not put too much onto your brush like you literally need to go bing, 
with your brush and then just immediately just in circular motions contour where you need to contour like around here and things like that i haven't used it today i'm not going to lie i used the bobby brown one but i carry this in my everyday makeup bag as well just in case i need to i'm switching from work and i need to just touch up my makeup and i'm going somewhere in the evening and i'm not going to be able to go straight home it's great i think for that for an everyday so i like this one as well would i repurchase it again mm, maybe not but um i have it now so i will use it it is not a bad product at all and there's different i think maybe there's two or three of these of course for lighter complexions as well and things like that but it is really not that bad one thing i do want to mention the packaging for these absolutely i i love the packaging i'm going to say like for a drugstore pharmacy whatever you want to call it um uh, uh brand beauty brand the packaging is very very nice it's sleek uh it does leave some finger marks and things like that but for me that's really not that much of a big deal but it's nice and it's sleek and i i actually really like the packaging so yeah lastly hair products now these are products that i've used ever since even before cutting my hair uh my hairdresser becky <laughs> becky with the good hair uh my hairdresser becky uh has a full-on collection of this range of products at her salon for me so every time i go in she will use those products on my hair instead of products that you would conventionally have in the store uh and then at home i also have them as well so these are shea moisture products i strictly use shea moisture products on my hair ever since if it's not shea moisture it's like dr miracles even just before cutting my hair, maybe about a month or two before cutting my hair, I've been using Shea Moisture. And the big standout products for me are this one, which is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Now, the reason why I use a mask, please don't, don't, okay. That's what it looks like. I've used it quite a bit. But the reason why I use a mask on my hair is that sometimes even this kind of hair feels dry and straw-like and like grass. It's just... Oh, it's, sometimes my hair just frustrates me so much and now that I dye my hair black because my original hair color is just like a dirty brown it's just it's impy 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 so basically <laughs> my sister loves to say that my little sister impy impy um so basically I will mask up probably like once a week because I do not like the feeling of touching my hair and feeling like it's dry and straw like I really don't like it so once a week sometimes even twice a week depending on am I busy or not I'll come back from work I'll put it on and then later on that night I'll take a shower and then I'll wash it off and my hair will be nice and soft and supple and just it will make me happy very happy um on days where i just feel like um i've got the jamaican black castor oil shampoo as well in my shower and then when i come out instead of doing the whole conditioner thing maybe i'm going straight to work or what have you i'll just spray some of this on and this is the shea moisture 100 version coconut oil leave-in treatment and this is good because it's great for detangling my hair my hair gets tangled quite a lot because i don't comb it so when i do wash my hair it is tangled when i run my fingers through it so when i come out of the shower with my wet hair i'll just spray some of this on and then i'll pick at my hair a little bit and then i'll just leave it like that it's nice i actually have some of it on today so if my hair looks a little bit whitish or what have you i washed my hair earlier on today but it's these two these two definitely my favorite products from shea moisture i love them the mask brilliant so i just wanted to mention those two i can't talk much on hair products because i don't know much but um i love this one has uh apple cider vinegar and shea butter which is nice shea butter in terms of nourishment and moisturizing hella it's really good so yeah that is pretty much it that is, that is it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this version of the uh beauty review if you would like me to continue with these beauty reviews once a month then definitely do let me know and let me know by subscribing you know like click like subscribe share the video talk to people let them know that there's this kind of person here who's doing these kinds of things okay okay but for now i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next video wow the video next yeah that